And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rise and World. Um, right now you're pretty much just looking at a path that I'm clearing out up there. I'm thinking we could build ourselves a house in the mountain. But we're not going to be doing that today. Today we're going to be doing something different. Alright, if you look in here, you have a blueprint section, but we don't have any on us right now. And this episode is going to be all about blueprints. So as we turn around, you start to see I got some stuff. I've uh, been doing some things. I already made the anvil. Um, I have been doing a lot of work on the land. You can see we already have a sidewalk in over here. Got some uh, curb curbs in. Over here we got ourselves. This is just for the alignment of the curbs in the sidewalk. But today we're going to be doing something different. I have a uh, house, Tinfoil Chef's house, and this is going to be the, subs the uh, subscriber suburbs on their server for every person that subscribes to me. I will build a house for them, and it will be added in here. If anyone on the server, as you can see, so let's go ahead, let's hit this, and we'll hold the down the tab button. As you can see, right now, I'm the only one on the server. And that's actually quite good. So, well, I guess it's good in a way. Um, so what we want to do today is we're going to bring Tinfoil Chef's house over here. So let's hop on over to my single player world and I'll show you how this works. I'll see you when I see you. And welcome to the single player world. As you can see, I did some changes in here from, from the last time. And we're going to be making a blueprint today. But first off, I wanted to take you guys in and show you that I've done a good bit of work on the house. As you can see, I got the second floor on it. We got a roof on the house this time. It doesn't look like crap like it usually does. Um, we can go ahead and remove this out of my inventory. We're not going to be working with those blocks today. Um, we still got our living room. I had to remove the carpeting out of here. It was too glitchy for me. So now you come upstairs. You can see this will be the office. This is the hallway. Now, I'll save that room for last because I put a lot of work into it. And I like it. This is the uh, master bedroom. Um, as you come in here, yeah, you can see we need to put some type of carpeting on the floor. But instead of carpeting, I'm thinking of doing a hardwood floor. In here is our closet. So you can come in here. You can hang some stuff up. we got to put a bar going across it. And I'll probably move this whole entire house over to that world also. I'm hoping stuff like this carries over and it's getting a bit dark out so let's go ahead let's take ourselves a little snooze and we'll carry on with the episode okay wakey wakey morning breaky so let's come on over here Up, oh, wrong way as you can see, yeah, wow, the door just shoved me down the stairs. <laughs> we got to put a railing in here yet, but first off, I want to put some type of hardwood floor here in the hallway that will extend into there and into the computer room. But this right here is by far the best room that I've ever done. <laughs> you'll walk in here, you'll see, I think it's kind of uh, cute the way I did this. I always sat there and said to myself, I would love to have kids, and if I ever had one, I would want a girl. So, I made a girl's room. And, it's got a ceiling fan. You come in, you got yourself a couple plugs on the wall. Um, light switch, so you can operate that, and... You got this over here, but the switch right here, just mainly for the fan. Turn it on and off. So it has only one speed. All right. So let's enough of the chair chatter. I mean, you guys seen the bedroom? You seen the bathroom? You seen all this stuff? So let's hop on outside and let's check out one little feature in the game as to which we have yet to do. So I don't know if it's in the sob bench or where it is. So let's take a look around and see if we can find this. Uh, 
thinking it should be under miscellaneous. Um, blueprint right here. So all that takes is one gold ingot. So let's go ahead, let's grab ourselves some gold ingots from the crafting hall. You can see I added some grass in here again. Our frames are a bit low, but I took care of that. What I had to do for all my settings in this is I had to, uh, I'll show you guys what I have to do. All this stuff right here, when you have it all on, and quality the whole way up, the game looks really beautiful, but... When also you have it on, you got the worst graphics card. It kind of sucks. So let's go inside the crafting hall of fame over here. And let's grab ourselves some gold ingots. So we got our ingots and coal over here. And look at all this gold that we got. We got lots of it. So. There we go. And we're going to come over here to the blueprint table. And we're going to craft ourselves up three of those. Now, we're only going to use one of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to come outside here. And out here, you see where we are. We already have the dirt all raised up. I'm going to do the same thing. So that area can look all flat as it wants to be. But we're not worried about that. Okay. What we need is we need the tinfoil chef house. So we're going to. First off. Okay. I need to make sure. We're not going to have much in the way of any problems over here. I still haven't taken care of this. Five. Let's jam some tomatoes down our throat. Here, let me pause the video and remove this stuff real quick. Okay, and welcome back. Yeah, I just jammed myself a whole bunch of tomatoes under my throat. And what we were doing is we were going to make sure we had his house. So what I want to do is I want to locate the corner of his house. I also want to make sure there's no plants in the way because they won't transfer over. Like, we don't want trees. We don't want to be copying trees over. So let's make sure we don't got no leaves in the way. And this tree over here looks like it is. So let's go ahead and let's just whack that thing down. Um, I don't see no reason why we shouldn't just use our pickaxe for this. And again, the crafting hall is right here. So let's go grab our axe. I mean, that just kind of sounds kind of weird. Let's uh, chop it with that. So, here we go. Let's grab our axe. And let's go get that tree out of our way. That way we don't have any leaves coming through with it. There you go. Stump's missing. But that's okay. All we want to do right now is we just want to clear out around the house to uh, make sure a lot of this stuff isn't in the way. So things like this, we have to remove it. It won't transfer over, but we can always plug this stuff back in once we get his house over there. So we're going to go ahead We're going to remove this. We're going to move this one. And we'll just keep removing these things just for right now because the leaves, the leaves will transfer over and it just won't look right. So we just want to kind of get these things out of the way for right now. We can add them back in. 
Alright, now as we look around the house, you can see there's this overhang right here. So let's go ahead, let's take hit number two. And it says hit left click. Alright, so let's get some blocks in our inventory. Let's hit this. And we'll hit one, two, one block for the overhang. So we'll place that blueprint right here. And we're going to come all the way up in here to the front. And we need to go all the way to the other corner. Of the property. Because we want to make sure we got his mailbox too. And his garbage cans. Alright. Now that this whole area is highlighted. We're going to use a plus or a minus. The plus button will raise it and the minus button will lower it. Now you want to do is you just want to highlight the whole house and we're going to hit F2 so we can fly. And that highlights the entire house region. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fly around it and we're going to make sure there's no leaves in the way. Nothing. That'll transfer over, and it looks like this tree, no, this tree doesn't look like it's inside of it. Yeah, kind of does, but I'm thinking it looks okay. So, as you can see down below, it got us some, some uh, we got some uh, instructions, and it says met mouse left to define a new endpoint um r shift to move the start point so i'm just going to hit the right click and we're going to hit select area now we can name it And, all right, sub, and we're just going to create this. There we go. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over to the other world. I'm going to blueprint our crafting hall right now, and our house we have over there. So, let me go ahead, I'm going to copy all this stuff, and I'll see you guys over on the server. So, I'll see you in a bit. And welcome back. Okay, so now we're over here to the server, I have all that stuff copied. And if we hit J, we can see we have our blueprints. Um, and right here is the Tinfoil Chef Home. We want to use that blueprint, and it says that we need a blueprint for it. Um, we don't have any gold. <laughs> uh, this episode just gets even better. Okay, so I have to go mining for gold. So I guess this. I don't know what to do. And welcome back to Rise of the World. Um, I was going to delete that episode, but I got so mad I just came. I uh, just came down here and started mining away because we needed blueprints and we needed gold for that. And Finally, after mining my way down for about two, maybe three hours at best, we found some gold. So let's go ahead and let's mine this stuff up. And the best way to do this is you can sit here forever and do this, or you can do this. We 
which is probably about the best way for us to do this. So let's go ahead, let's get all this gold up out of this yummy hole here. And be happy that we finally got some. So I'm going to... I'm gonna finish getting all this gold up, and I'll meet all you guys on the surface, so... I'll see you guys there, and we're gonna get this stuff smelted, and start to, uh... Well... We're gonna get our blueprints set up, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I'm back up at the surface, I got these things all nice and good and smelting. You can also see we got ourselves lots of ores here, and... We really don't have a place to put these things yet. So what I want to do is, while we're waiting on this stuff, it, while we're waiting on this stuff to smelt, shouldn't take too long anyways. Um, I guess we could do it in survival. Let's go ahead and let's grab ourselves some uh, stone from over here. As I already put a lot of it away. And we're going to head over here to our block bench. And what we need to do is we're going to make ourselves a... Uh, let's see here. Max on that. And let's see what we got as far as cobblestone goes. Uh, we got this pretty cool stuff, but that looks like it belongs on a road or something. Do, 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 do. That actually looks pretty nice. Not sure if we used it yet. Um, let's take a look at my favorites and see what we got over here. We got this wall right here. Alright. So we got these things smelting. I want to do is I want to step right back here, and we're gonna come up this path right here. And what we're gonna do up here is this is pretty much where the uh, furnace room is going to be. And I thought it'd be kind of cool for us to come up here and maybe make something. So. Here we go, we got that. Um, let's make that thing come out here just a wee bit more. There we go. There you go. And we're going to come out from here. And make it connect. Now we're just going to fill in the floor here with these. And I'll worry about going underneath it. And we'll make a uh, decent thing for it later. So what we want to do is we just want to fill this in right now. We're going to use a whole bunch of that. And we're going to use this as like a smelting room. Now we still got the crafting hall and all that stuff and figured I'd do a little build a little bit of building on camera with you guys while we're waiting. And wow, that's done. Alright, well, we little build of building is pretty cool, but we also have something that we need to do, so let's go ahead. Scoop these things up. There we are. We got 24 of those. Um, this thing done yet? Nope. Alright. What we need is we're going to get some uh, miscellaneous blueprints. And we're just going to make three of those. Okay. Now, we're going to put some of these away. This thing is done. Let's turn that off. Um... We're going to put it this way, and this way, and then we're going to hit three, and we're going to come out here, and we're going to hit J, and it should be able to bring up tinfoil chef's house, 
I'm thinking we should be able to put it over here. Uh, I'm not sure. So let's go to blueprints. Um, that's crafting. That's subspecials. And the tinfoil chef home. Let's say, let's use it. All right. So now that we can see this. That looks like it's the back side of the house. Can we rotate it? That's a thing. No, we can't rotate it. All right. So let's let's go ahead and let's chop down all these trees over here then. And we could put his house like right over here. So there we go. That shut it up. All right. So let's come over here and grab our. Get our axe. It's inside one of these chests. So let's see here. Grab our axe. And this little black bar that you guys keep seeing popping up right there. If I hit T, I think I showed this already. It brings up this right here. It just shows that I'm the only one on the server. And Tenfold Chef's Home, I guess, is going to be put right here. So, the fastest way to chop down trees in this game, because if you got a lot of trees, if you grow yourself a forest, the best way to cut yourself down a tree is this. So, one whack, bada bang, bada boom, and it's down. So, I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to cut down all these trees, and we'll put his home in, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Ah, that was fun. Alright, so, just scooping up all these logs right now. All the leaves, and uh, we got a stump in here. There we go. Just whack that stump out of the ground. And I'll replant these things somewhere else. Still have to expand the road going out that way, but I'm trying to do elevations like we did in our, uh, Single player world. Got another stump in here. Very good. Just knock that thing out. Bada bing, bada boom. Who's a gangster? Nah. <laughs> yeah, the reason I usually don't record when I knock down all these trees is well, I tried it before and I crashed. So. The trees, they drop like normal trees, and, well, usually they do. Alright, so here we go. We got one more log sitting in the middle of the road. Don't want someone to run over that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and let's hit the J button again and let's bring up the tinfoil chef home and hit use blueprint. What happened? Oh, I must have to have it in my hot bar. Okay, so we'll hit three, then we'll hit J. Tin foil chef home. Use blueprint. Here we go. There really has to be a better way of putting these things in. So 
so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to uh, set this thing up just right. And I'm guessing we're just going to set the thing down right here. And you should magically just see the house pan into place. So right now what you're seeing is just a piece of the sidewalk. And I really haven't put that thing in. And this thing is glitchy as ever. So let me re-log. And I'll be right back. So let's hit this. Shift plus. And welcome back. Just taking herself a little nap right here. Bit dark out, but yeah, I relogged. You can see the house is still here. Apparently, yeah, we still have to uh, cut out some of the dirt from behind the house. Um, you can see the sidewalk breaks that are in here and how the yard still has to be raised up some, but that shouldn't hurt us much. So, despite the fact the yard still has to be raised and all that, let's go ahead. Let's take a look inside the Tim Floor Chef home and see how this thing turned out. Now, as you can see, <laughs> it looks like something out of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> yeah, everything is here in his home. Um, you even got the moose head. Everything's here. I just got to clear out all this dirt. <laughs> actually looks kind of funny. Um, so we can actually walk through here. Um, is desk is still here this actually looks relatively very cool i don't have a clue where that tree even came from but got a tree in here so let's open this up let's take a look at his bedroom it's a little bit covered in some dirt i gotta clean all that up but it should work <laughs> here's his bathroom um, still might need some water in a tub i can use a bucket for that hopefully um, can leave out. Let's go back out here. And yeah, usually when you paste a place in, you're supposed to have the area nice and flat. You can see I didn't have it all completely flat yet, but I can fix that up. Um, the garage, how's that look? It looks relatively okay. It looks like it needs another block right here. Like it's missing one. But other than that, the tinfoil chef home looks like something straight out of Vault 34 right now. <laughs> well, you guys take it easy, have yourself a nice day, and I'll check you later. Bye.